Once there was a king who ruled over a large country in which there lived a great number of mice. Generally, these mice were very prosperous with plenty to eat, but one year it happened that the country's crops were poor, and the mice, who depended upon the spare grains left after harvest, found their stores running short. The king of the mice, having determined upon a personal appeal to the king of the country, dressed up in his best gray suit and set off one morning to the king's palace. When the doorman announced to the king of the country that a mouse was asking to see him, his majesty was greatly amused and ordered him admitted. Good morning, brother mouse, said the king courteously. What can I do for you? The mouse bowed nicely and replied, Oh, king, as you know, this year our crops are short, and we mice are threatened with famine unless we can borrow enough grain to see us through the winter. Well, said the king, stroking his chin, How much grain do you want? said the mouse. We will require one of your big barns full. So the king ordered a large granary to be thrown open to the mice with no interference whatsoever. Next morning, when the king went out to look at his barn, he was astonished to find that the mice had been able to empty it so efficiently, and he conceived a high opinion of their abilities. Now it happened that shortly after this, the king of the country was forced to go to war with a neighboring kingdom. So once more, the mouse king set out for the king's palace to offer the help of the mice. Next evening at dusk, the mouse king led several hundred thousand of his subjects to the riverbank, where they found lined up a hundred thousand foot long sticks, which at the mouse king's request, the king of the country had agreed to place there. The mice used these sticks as rafts to carry them across the river to the enemy camp, where the soldiers were all sound asleep. At a command from their king, the mice scattered over the camp and went to work, quietly doing as much destruction as possible. They nibbled everything and left shred and confusion in every direction. After a couple of hours' work, they reassembled at the river bank and re-embarked on their sticks, sailing noiselessly back to their own shore without having been detected by the enemy or having raised any alarm. Next morning at daybreak, a huge outcry arose from the enemy camp. In the midst of the clamor, some shots were fired and bugles sounded on the opposite bank, and thinking they were about to be overtaken, the whole army took to its heels. In a few minutes, not a man was to be seen. The king of the country of mice was naturally elated at this easy victory, and quickly summoned the king of the mice to thank him for his good services. And in accordance with a bargain made at the time the mice offered their assistance, he quickly set about to rid the country of the two things most harmful to mice, floods and cats. <laughs>